Hi everyone, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to help you train your harmonic ear, specifically your harmonic ear, the ear which figures out chords and progressions and connections between a chunk of notes played together in one shot and then you need to kind of analyze it and figure it out, right? Now, there are a lot of apps out there which which claim to train your ear and some of them are quite good. I, I use a couple as well to practice. But <clears throat> the way I have generally developed my so-called ear, I don't know if it's actually my ear or my mind because we all hear the same thing, come to think of it. It's just that some of us know what we heard. So a good way to, I guess, the way I ended up training my ear growing up is with my voice. I ended up using my voice to figure out a lot of things away from the piano. So I rarely used my piano. I was always imagining things and to imagine and bring it out when you're away from an instrument, you have to sing, you have to use your voice. And to my luck, I started my musical journey as a singer in a choir and <clears throat> that got me to at least be able to pitch a note correctly. And then it got into things like harmony where I wouldn't get confused or sh I was pro or trained not to get confused when there are a bunch of singers singing different parts. So I've developed five harmonic ear training strategies using just our voice and the piano. The piano will help the voice or the voice will help the piano, one of the two. And while you learn this, I encourage you to also get a keyboard out Get a book out if you wish and learn along with me. Stick around till the very end. Watch all these concepts thoroughly. And you can also re-watch it later if you wish. And before we get cracking, it'll be really nice for you to support the channel by giving the video a like. There's a thumbs up somewhere there. Please click that. Um, and also there's a subscribe button and also consider hitting the bell icon for regular notifications as we are a very busy channel, you could say, on YouTube. So the first thing you need to train your ear is take a chord, like let's say C major, <clears throat> play the triad in your right hand and play the root of the chord or the name of the chord in the left hand, which is C. And try to sing only the root of the chord, which is C, <clears throat> C. Now you may think this is kind of easy, but it gets a bit interesting and or challenging as you start changing the roots to maybe a new chord. So you have the chord charts written in in front of you, let's say. So C. What is that now? Now the soprano or the topmost note in this production is doing La, which is A, but the bass is going A back to C F okay what about this one just giving you some time to figure that out now the note sticking on top is 2F but the note which is the root the all important root is D to D Okay, so you need to take a chord progression which you are very familiar. Let's say a 1, 5, 6, 4. Very common chords, right? So play them four times. Once you're used to it on the piano, of course. I'm on the C major scale, by the way. Scale I don't use very often, but still. Sing. C, the first root. G, the second root A, the third root F Okay? Or sing it in a key which suits you Like C, G, A, F Up to you Now, to make this process I understand it's going to be tricky at at first but to make this process more free flowing at the same time getting the right results which is not so easy to do you can get your first note which is C C 
Now, if you know the intervals, try to find a fifth from C. And you know G is a fifth from C. So in the initial stages, you could tell yourself, okay, C, I want to go to G, which is the fifth. So how do I do that? C, D, E, F, G. So I can kind of use this ladder instead of like jumping to G, so to speak. Uh, C, D, E, F, G. And then it kind of matches, right? So it's not that a method you want to use all through your journey. You can perhaps start with this if you're brain or your ear is not aware so well of the bass register or if your right hand is confusing you with the melody or the top notes of the chord so si para ba ji para ba da si back to si so that can like ladder up to the chord and ladder down using stepwise motion you can even do c b a g that's the next chord do 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 so harmonic ear training is to figure out the chord some somehow and by listening to the bass so by knowing what the bass note is it's an instant sure shot way of even knowing the chord so imagine this in an actual song you're listening to a song and you ended up hearing the root and <clears throat> you heard it so well in your head that you are able to sing it da what is that note well you could in initially use a few apps to actually help you or guide you as to what note you just sung la an app will perhaps a tuning app like a guitar tuner any free app which you have on your phone will probably tell you that that is a c not because you have perfect pitch or anything like that you don't need to the chord is there you're just singing what you just heard which is like singing a melody so you're singing the c the app tells you it's a c and thus it is c major because you're in the scale of c major and it won't be a c minor which will be in some other scale so this is about the baseline try to uh, develop challenges for yourself to guide your ear towards the bass register because the bass register you hear that c you know what the chord is it's the c chord so if you can do a c a flat b flat f your chord progressions will will happen you don't even need a piano if you can sing that and be like especially if you're uh uh now a lot of the uh, indian classical trained musicians who i en encounter have an issue with this uh, process in general because the bass note tends to always be fixed that's your sa or your pa you don't have chord changes traditionally in indian classical music right you don't have it in classical songs so it may be tricky for your ear so if you can consider that the low register the bass is the melody for you to transcribe with your respective swaras they are all going to be scale degrees sa pa dha ma sa being 1 pa being 5 dha being 6 ma being 4 so sa ga dha pa <clears throat> well you try it one and you E, which is the three or the ga, the six, five, and you da na 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 one, three minor, da pa. Gets a bit challenging with the melody. Don't get confused by that. Two. you may think la ra no that's not the chord that's not the base of the chord do 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 so you have to skip chords the base of chords will skip because it's you don't want a chord progression to be do 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 you don't want it to be linear the chords are going to jump because chord progressions don't work in stepwise motion you know that's melody generally okay so that's one way to train your harmonic ear hunt for the bass it's going to be very very tricky because you have another more catchy subject of interest if you will which is the melody so 
uh, in hunting for the bass, you need to figure out a way to kind of think of the melody or regard the melody as almost irrelevant at the time of figuring out the bass because I don't think you can process more than one thing at a time with your ear or even with your eyes or pretty much any sense organ right which is like which is why I like to when I'm eating food I just like to enjoy the food and not bother about anything else right as we all do so moving on to another great way to improve your harmonic ear with singing and the piano, a very organic approach would be the inversions you may already know. So here's what you can do to challenge yourself on that front. Train yourself with inversions. Let's say you take the G minor chord. I took a major earlier, so I'm going to take a minor now. So this is our good old G minor. Now remember you can play this in different inversions. You can go G B flat D B flat D G D G B flat. Now my intention is that you don't initially you don't need to figure out all these three notes. At least try to now hear the catchiest of the notes by promoting them through inversion. So G B flat D now what's on top if you just hear this and don't sing just a, a good way to figure out this stuff is don't give yourself the answer immediately give it a gap wait a bit see the note will come to you give it some time you need to have a lot of patience with your training so so if you're you can even kind of just shake your body a bit, move your head, do a few, like a lot of things about ear training are going to render you as a rather crazy person and you should not care about that. If you do it in a very official way, you're not going to train your ear very well. Theory may be so, but uh, ear training is something you have to, you have to try something which works for you. It can be unorthodox, it can be weird, it can be silly, but at the end of the day, Ear training is a very good reality check to know how good you are with music because the quickest way to get something onto your fingers or inside your head is through this, through our ears. Music is ultimately going to go through the ears and then be the brain will do its thing, right? So this is the quickest possible way on earth to figure things out. So whatever method works for you, sometimes I like to like play the chord... Just move my head a bit, close my eyes and try to get used to what's, what the thing is and then it's you, you, you relate to the topmost note which is La. You don't have to care that it's D, you know it's D, you can see that. The challenge is when we play it all together, we can't find all the three notes that easily as as it is when we play it one by one, right? So this is an... Uh, exercise where you have to whack the chords together. Now similarly now what is that? The top note happens to be it's also the root of the chord and then invert it there we go B flat so you're scrolling through all these inversions of the chord. So it's a good way to improve your inversion knowledge at the same time improve your, your harmonic ear. And another good way is to combine a couple of these chords together and practice the voice leading between the two chords. So for example, if I take G minor and C major. Okay. G minor, C major. Now... The top note is G. So just basically sing G throughout the journey of G minor to C major. La, da, that's your job. Whatever melody I play doesn't matter. La, hold that note. Now, 
another two notes so i can do a b flat going to c b flat for the g minor chord which i have promoted to the top c c note the melody note c for the c major chord which i have promoted on the top and as you'll see on the piano these two chords are leading very well into each other right so la you can even move those high notes around la da 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 di da but land back on that la da 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 di da da la da it's a good way to even compose melodies la da da di di ru di da ru di da di da da ru la da di da ru la di da di da ra da da now you get into like an anticipation mode because you're figuring out a way how to go to that next landing okay uh, what's the other permutation left in this uh, g minor going to c major we've done high g high c we've done high b flat high c uh, the other thing pending for us would be d's d going to the c that's na 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 no no oh, 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 oh. and you know this song ta da de ra pa da di ta na no really allow you to kind of bring out your melody knowledge as well through the chords using the chords so it's another nice way to train your harmonic ear just just an organic process everything i have for you in this lecture is just things you can do without any tech you just put your piano on you have a voice which we all do thankfully and that's it that's pretty much it right so i have one more really nice fun way a fun strategy of uh, dabbling with chords and melody at the same time basically it revolves around you taking a chord plonking it on the piano you could do this on any instrument actually in fact most of these lessons i don't even know how i came up with them whether it happened on a guitar or a piano or a bass sometimes or sometimes without any instrument so that's a that's the thing about ear training it's not a piano a dependent thing i understand a lot of you who watch our videos are pianists or upcoming players so a lot about ear training in music theory bypasses the instrument in fact the instrument can slow you down come to think of it so you need your ears and the music you don't it's not very instrument related but nevertheless i'm explaining it on the piano so uh, if you take let's say a chord e minor plonk it down now of course you have different inversions but i'm just going to take the normal position which is e g b and a good exercise would be to move or float this each of the positions this is the low note of the chord e this is the middle note of the chord g this is the high note of the chord we call it b as we all know so take the low note for a start and float it in your mind first first you need to catch it before floating it right so la if you don't get it hit the whole chord and then only hit that single note so hit the whole chord you may have got e by now but if you don't get it try to hit only the e with that one finger namely your thumb so okay so now you got your hold of the e now after you got that e in the vicinity of the c try to move around la da da re 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 ru 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 re 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 we are on minor so access some of those minor sounds le re re but you don't want to go too high la da da in that range la da da de ru ru now low you can go very low but you don't want to go and 
uh, invade the middle note so to speak which is that guy's spot la ra ra di di and build a melody on that e so i did leden de leden de de lady do 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 ti da leden de reden de ra de de do do de keep that e minor ringing laden de do do leden de 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 ra he de ra de ra 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 la ra di just get used to everything around that e now let's look at a g how do i get myself the g only play the whole chord and then play only the middle note now with the middle there's a kind of a trap because you don't have that many notes to explore otherwise it'll invade the low or the high territory just sing two notes la ra 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 la ra ra re re only the g for a while a ten de re re a ten de re re a ten de ra re 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 ra re re now the other notes near the g pa re g a g f sharp la ra re you could even go like like in a more exotic flavor by choosing maybe an f which makes it a very beautiful phrygian sound la ra ri ra 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 la ra 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 ha ri ra ra la ra ri ra ra ri ra ri ru ru du du okay then we have the high note which is b again if you can't hear that ta first get yourself pivot the high la and now explore la da 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 you have to be creative here you you can't do this to to learn you have to do this to enjoy and to make something to compose la da di da 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 you can access all those ingredients la da da come back to be from time to time la ri 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 and then play around for a while lern di ru ru re ra 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 o ru back to the low e da ra ra ru 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 ra ji da ra ri 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 ta ra ra na 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 now na 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 now now na 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 now So you can fool around and mind you there's so much more you can fool around with which is video may not have the time to keep talking about um you can invert this chord and just the same friend of ours e minor can be revisited differently because g would be the low note in this inversion b would be the middle e would be the high you're going to create a completely different melodic uh, context right so let's just have a quick recap of what we've done we've first of all looked at identifying the bass note to and then changing it based on the chord progression so then you can have a floating bass if you will la ra ra ru ru just hunting for the bass primarily so or the chord roots as we call them then we looked at the inversions mostly uh, learnt in our right hand where you use the highest note of each inversion to sing out and train your ear that thereby then we looked at changing basically having a couple of chords and then looking at the topmost note of those two chords promoting them to the top so our ear can hear them better and then changing between them example ta ra e minor to c major g on top ta ra b to c on top la ra e with e on the top because both e minor and c major have e in it right and last but not least we looked at a floating option where you plonk down a chord and then float the left note the low note float the middle note and or 
else float the high note right guys so this was hopefully a useful ear training lesson for you do let us know what you think in the comments and a lot of our lessons at nathaniel on our youtube channel can be accessed through convenient playlists you may want to get your uh cells or bookmark the links of some of these playlists in this particular lesson ear training for sure is something we cover a lot on our channel even music theory and if you'd like to make the process easier you can even visit nathanielschool.com under the free tutorial section which has these tags easy to use tags you can also consider supporting us on patreon where for $5 a month you'll get my handwritten notes my uh, notation wherever applicable and other media which will help you to supplement these lessons if you'd like to do something more regular if you want more structure in your learning if you feel this lesson was a bit tricky you want to start with melody intervals rhythm like the ground basics you can consider a semester at our school you can just go to nathanielschool.com fill up a form and one of our course advisors will get in touch with you right thanks so much for watching the video hope it was useful catch you in the next one cheers